What's going on guys, Ryan DeFreitas here coming with a quick video about MetaTrader 4 and how to navigate this thing. On top of that, I kind of want to give you guys a little tips and tricks on how to finesse this like a pro. You know, I'm not a pro, but I can help you out just a little, right? So let's get started. So the top left here is the toolbar, right? And you're going to notice all these little symbols that can help you navigate this thing really, really easily. If you don't have them, then it's probably because you haven't unlocked them. So all you got to do is hit right cl click and then hit the standard. You'll notice it's disappeared, right? So once it's check mark, it'll reappear. Same thing with, let's say, line studies. So you notice it's not there. So if it's not there for you, you probably have to right click, make sure it's there. Okay. Now, these are obviously like the time frames, one minute, 15 minute, four hour daily. That's basic. Okay. Now up here, you know, you have your different types of candle patterns candlestick, bar, line, whatever, okay? Now, this right here can get tricky for a lot of newbies. This is called the auto scroll button, all right? So what that means is that when you kind of scroll back, you're not gonna be able to see anything. Oh, there it goes, what happened, what happened? I'm trying to scroll back and it just brings you to the most recent candle as it's moving. So you click this button, the auto scroll off, and now you can go back to, go back in time. Turn back the hands of time, like back to the future, okay? <laughs> and and go back and see everything. Right? So that's really helps when you're trying to go back a couple weeks, a couple days without being interrupted. You know, it's it's a new beast, a rookie thing, but I know when I first started it took me forever to actually figure it out. <laughs> okay? So if you want to add indicators, of course you can add that. With that you know and bolger bands moving averages whatever you want to add okay on top of that uh if you don't have stuff like this like trend lines rectangles wh whatever even text so you can type things on your charts what you want to do is add them all right the way you add them is you right click you go to customize and let's say i wanted to add the gan grid the gan grid whatever right <laughs> Let's see. So then, boom, I click this thing, and now I got it. All right? I'm going to delete it now. But that's the thing, is that you can add whatever you want. Okay? So if you don't have the vertical line or the trend line, you want to add those. You want to make it as easy accessible as possible, so you don't have to keep going to, like, file or insert line. And you don't want to do none of that, right? You want to make it very easy, very accessible, so when you're analyzing your charts, you don't have to do too much. The less thinking, the better, right? At the more hands-free everything is and just easy it is to put things is the more concentrated you're going to be when you're taking your trades. So that's what you want to do. Now, I have like text, you know, I have rectangles and stuff like that. Again, a tip for that is that when you right click on these charts or uh, rectangles and patterns and stuff like that, you want to go to the properties and you want to thicken the lines because usually by default they're like this. It's ugly. It's like pencil number two thin. Look, look at it. It's ugly. So then you double click on it. Go to objects list. I think it's this one. And then you make it bigger. All right. You just thicken it up a little bit. There you go. Makes it easier to see, easy on the eyes and just better to look at. Right. Same thing with your trend lines so let's say you let's zoom out a little bit okay let's go on the four hour chart oh by the way if you want to scroll all the way up you just hit this little button chart shift so let's say you're all the way back here you can actually hit this little button chart shift and it takes you to the very beginning now let's say you made a trend line right here this on the four hour chart like a trend line like that okay let's say you made that trend line now most trend lines wouldn't look like this they would probably look like this I'm going to show you like a ray okay and it just goes on forever as you see right but you don't want that so you right click you hit trend line properties and you uncheck this ray option and then boom now you can actually customize completely the length 
and span of this line, which is what you want. Makes it look sexier, easier on the eyes, and that's more of what you want, right? You don't want the line going forever, forever, like, you know, I don't know what to say about it, but forever. <laughs> okay, so that's not what you want. So that's what I do with my lines. Um, another quick tip is when you want to measure pips, this is a golden golden rule right here. A lot of people don't know how to do this. So let me show you guys. Let's say that from this low to this high we want to measure. We didn't know how. You don't read these sidebars. What you do is you take this little box right here, which is called the crosshair box. You click it, go to the very bottom, click it and hold. As you see, it's a nice white line. Click it to the top. And you see that middle number? I'm gonna, it says 4,000. I'm holding it perfectly. I'm so good at this. Anyway, it says 4,000. So this is a total of a 400 pip move. So that 4,000 is actually 4,000 micro pips. Okay, so it's a 4,000 micro pip move, but it is, it is a 400 pip move. All right, guys, just so you know. Um, so that is how you measure pips. So from here to here is roughly a 250 pip move, right? It says 2,501. So that's 2,501 micro pips, but it would be 250 full pips. All right. Again, like right here to here, it'd be 283 pips, full pips. Okay. So that is how you measure the pips um, between different candles and different zones in the market. That is a, a really decent tip. Again, um, let me go right here and show you the market watch in case you guys don't have that. All you got to do is hit view market watch. Then you'll be able to switch currency pairs really quickly. If you don't have all these currency pairs up, you just right click it's probably on hide or no not hide uh, hide all right so you want to right click and hit show all and then most of the pairs will pop up okay and all you gotta do is this drag and drop so let's drag and drop a new pair boom and you have a new pair okay so you can open as many charts as you want obviously and just drag and drop and uh, there you go so I wanted to drop some tips and tricks for you guys, some things I picked up that I think can help you new people who don't really know Meditrade for and not acclimated. So any problems, let me know. You know, I'm here to help. Make sure you subscribe so you get more freaking videos. All right. Uh, peace. <laughs> Take care, guys.